I like this attack here from Max. He plays for volume zero and they're currently ranked number one at the end of week two for this season of the ESL Mobile Open. And he came in with this crazy Skelly Donut Lalo. It's one of my favorite attacks in Clash of Clans to see. It's always absolutely brilliant. It requires perfect, accurate placement of every single troop and spell, especially this opener where he drops in a earthquake, a rage, and a couple of skeleton spells inside of invisibility to snipe off the CC and that Inferno. While that was going on, he dropped in minions along the edge of the base there to go pick off some buildings up in the top corner to form a funnel. Also a cannon over on the right side. He wall broke into the town hall, sent in sneaky goblins to go clear the collectors down there. Another one to go test for traps at the town hall, even clearing a storage inside of that town hall compartment. And then... Even more sneaky goblins come down with the invisibility spell to make them invisible long enough to snipe off the town hall. Then he goes in with the king and the queen to go after the enemy queen, trying to break the ring of defenses here, connect from the outside edge of the base all the way in to where he removed the defenses in the middle to make so the Lalo can path all together and they don't have to go both directions around the Inferno compartment that was in the middle of the base there. And that definitely makes them get more effectiveness out of every single spell. So the King and the Queen charged their way in. The Royal Champion came in on the top side just to make sure that he got all the defenses along the top side and the ones that were in the back of the Town Hall compartment down. So now the Lalo, as it comes in, has a nice clean path to go clockwise or counterclockwise around the base, I guess. He has this slammer come in on the left side and it drops out a couple of balloons and it also drops out a dragon rider to go snipe off that eagle artillery, the queen, and eventually dies there. And uh, he starts in the Lalo to wrap all the way around the bottom of the base there. But he did have to deal with the enemy road champion. He was able to snipe her off with the ward ability protecting some headhunters. And it was a textbook perfect Lalo. This was so clean. And it's no wonder why this team is currently ranked.